Hey everyone, welcome back. This is another Trinity tutorial. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay. So, <laughs> the vast majority of you probably don't even know what Trinity is. Um, it's essentially a sort of custom sci-fi series with unlimited possibilities that I made up. And there's certain factions and all that jazz and they fight against each other. There's vehicle ships. It's very, very interesting. Um, Never really went anywhere. There was gonna like be a, a story at some point, but I think I've pretty much scrapped that now. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a tutorial on something. This is, and excuse the name, the Omega Dash X33 stationary turret. Which the name doesn't mean anything. None of it, you, you know, has a has a meaning. Um, it's just a turret. And I haven't actually made the rest of the faction that this would belong to, but yeah, I guess their color scheme is orange. Because you can see the, um, I guess the feet and the the actual turret bit itself are both a very bright orange, which is interesting. So it is a asymmetrical build, and uh, you've got the pilot seat on the left here, sort of kind of like the uh, the Mac cannon from Halo Reach, I suppose it in that way. Um, but yeah, not in any other way really. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it because honestly, it's just it's just a thing I made, and it looks cool. And it has a cool name. Um, so this is also I, I, day number nine of the. Well, it's the ninth of the month, but it's day number five of the twelve days of Christmas tutorial. So we've got another another seven to go, um, which I haven't decided what any of those are yet. As for scale, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on the thumbnail or not. But Trinity doesn't really have a scale. Like it's as I say, completely custom, so anything I make is is just kind of at that scale, I suppose. So I guess you could call it one-to-one -one scale. Um, I mean, with the with the pilot chair here, um, yeah, I could see it being one-to-one -one scale. So yeah, that's all I have to say, really. We're going to do it in the layer-by-layer -layer system, um, and let's crack on with layer number one. Right, so for the first layer, we're going to start with these materials. Grey concrete, polished on the tight orange concrete. Deep slate tile stairs, that's a mouthful. Red sandstone wall and dark oak fence gate built in along the green line, that is the front of the build. However, for this layer it doesn't really matter because it is symmetrical completely. Um, and yeah, red lines are back anyway. So, starting off, we're going to go with the polished andesite. I'm going to do a three, 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 and three. It just happens to fit perfectly on that bit there. Obviously, you won't have that, so. You know, you just build on your grass or whatever you've got. Um, and you don't need to worry about building it in the air, because why on earth would you do that? <laughs> three, three, three with the grey concrete. This doesn't get seen, so you could probably use any block if you're in survival. If, if you want to save materials, fill it with dirt, you don't see it. That's going to be one grey concrete on each corner. So you've got a square now. And then it's going to be another three around each side. Just like that. Okay, taking the deep slate tile stairs, that's going to be one, two, three, and four. And then on the corners here, you're going to do just like that. Okay, and that's four. So it should end up with the shape. Take dark oak fence gates now. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then flip them all towards the build. Like that. Taking orange concrete now. That's one and two there. Two here. Two and two. Of course, if you want, you can replace the orange concrete with another material like blue um, concrete or whatever color you want it. The only problem is when we get to the top turret section, there are a few red sandstone uh, slabs and stairs that you'd need to find an alternative for. So you've done two of these on each corner and then you take in two red sandstone walls just to join those feet up to the body. That's why we did the uh, dark oak fence gates. And just do two there as well, don't forget those ones. So you should end up with this hopefully. And that's gonna be it for layer number one, so let's move on to layer number two. So for layer number two, you'll need gray concrete again, polished deep slate stairs, polished granite slab, smooth stone slab, and skeleton skull. Take the uh, granite slabs, and we're gonna do two of those here, two there. And again, on all four corners, this layer is symmetrical once more, so 
yeah everything's done on all four corners with the grey concrete that's going to be three again in the middle and polished deep slate stairs upside down remember the ones we used here were the tile ones these are just the normal polished ones so you should have that and then smooth stone slabs are going to go on these empty ones just like so Taking skeleton skull now, that's going to be one there, you want it like a corner facing inwards so the uh, face isn't visible from the outside. There you go. And that is going to do it for layer number two, so let's move on to number three. For layer number three, you'll need grey concrete, polished andesite, polished deep slate stairs and smooth stone slab and a ladder. So this is where it becomes asymmetrical, so you'll need to uh, bear that in mind. The ladder is only on one side, that's going to be just here with the ladder goes there like that on top of the uh, polished and the site. The middle is the same as before, just three by three. The tiles, I don't know why I said tiles, that's not even a tile. The polished deep slate stairs go on all four sides again. And so do the smooth stone slab top half. Okay, there we go. And that's gonna do it again for lane number three, so let's move on to number four. So for lane number four, going to the middle again, it's another set of three by three. This time on the right only, you're going to do an orange concrete. I guess the left technically from the front. Do the uh, polished deep slate stairs again on the front and back, but not on the other side. So there we go, just like that. So on the right hand side of the build, facing from the front, obviously the green line. Taking polished and side, that's going to be one, two and three and another ladder taking the deep slate tile stairs this time one two three and then this is the fourth one and you just corner it around like that okay after that smooth stone slab one two three four and then three here like so all top half and again it's going to do it for that layer so let's move on up to layer number five all right next layer up taking the materials gray concrete orange concrete uh, these two variants of deep slate stairs, polished and tile, smooth stone slab, red sandstone wall, deep slate tile wall, smooth sandstone stairs and stone brick wall. The three stone brick walls here, one there, skip one, two more, get rid of that now, forever. <laughs> get the um, polished andesite stairs, I'm going to use that for the seat and that goes just there. Okay. Taking the smooth sandstone stairs, that's one and two. And then because I know this comes next, there's going to be two uh, light blue stained glass panes on top. And then for the seat as well, I'm going to take a dark oak trap door, put it on the back of the chair here, not that way. I don't know why it's done that way. Oh yeah, you need to do it this way, don't you? All right, hang on, there we go. So you need it like that. And then also a light gray banner goes there all right so we got a bit of a uh, next layer done as well there which is good with the gray concrete now three and then two two and then three deep slate tile wall one and two and then two here on the front of this that's going to be another polished deep slate stairs this time same as these ones top half uh, smooth stone slab one and two and then two extra here as well on this side, orange concrete one and two, upside down deep slate tile stairs, and also a red sandstone wall. And that's going to do it for layer number five, so let's move on to layer number six. So for this layer, grab uh, these materials, grey concrete, orange concrete, you don't need this right now, you need it next layer, but I figured might as well keep it because we all need it a lot. Polished deep slate st stairs, I can't say that, that's another tongue twister. Deep slate tile stairs, deep slate tile wall, skeleton skull, the chiseled stone bricks, andesite wall, and polished andesite. Starting off, that's polished, chiseled, and then andesite walls on either side, skeleton skull goes there. With the uh, <laughs> grey concrete, one, two, three, and then one there. Two, and three goes here, deep slate tile walls on the back again. That's going to be two tile walls here two here as well and then we now need a uh, red sandstone slab I'm just gonna use the smooth one but on the actual model it is a just standard one I just can't be bothered to look through the uh, inventory for it 
So there we go. And then deep slate tile stairs, that's gonna be one and two because we're now working on sort of the turret section. So there we go. That's gonna do it for that layer. So let's move on up to layer number seven, that I think is what we're on. Okay, no particular order for this one. Gray concrete, orange concrete, the two tile stairs. In fact, you can get rid of this one now. Just that tile stair and then the tile wall and the polished granite slab, smooth red sandstone slab, acacia trap door and smooth stone slab. It's gonna be three gray concrete, two and three. Top half granite slab there and then tile walls next to it. This is gonna be two upside down stairs on both sides. Do a gray concrete here. Stair there, stair there. And this is two stone slabs, smooth. Taking the smooth red sandstone slab at one and two there like that. Followed by two trap doors. Just like so, that's part of the, uh, the turret. So let's move on up to the next layer where we actually finish the build because that's two layers in one. <laughs> so let's move on up to that and then we'll be done. All right, so starting this one off, we're gonna go to uh, this slab here and do one, two, three. Three again with the orange concrete. One there, one there. Going to here, that's gonna be one orange concrete there and as well here. And then do one, one extra off the back and then one polished granite slab. Okay. Take the orange concrete once more. This is gonna go one, two, three, four. Do three here, one there, and then this is going to be polished and the site if we grab it from down there. Okay. Take the red sandstone walls now, that's going to be one there and one here. Okay. And I don't think you need any more of those, so you can throw that away. We'll do the, uh, the turret and then we can get rid of some materials. That's going to be two of those uh, tile walls, a dark oak fence gate another tile wall and then for the very tip of the turret you're going to take the chiseled polished black stone. You can throw those two away now and you can also get rid of the diorite, not diorite, so granite. Keep the smooth red sandstone slab, keep the andesite, keep the trap doors and throw away the smooth uh, stone slabs. You're going to also grab lever and orange carpet and stone button and also red sandstone stairs smooth or normally doesn't matter okay so take the stairs one two three and four four there as well that's going to be a smooth red sandstone slab one and two trap door on either side and then an orange carpet okay over to here that's a slab and a slab full block and then two two and two with the lever that's going to be there flip it there flip it and then with the smooth red sandstone stairs one and two okay from there two more of those red sandstone slabs polished on the side times two slab again and the final thing is to grab stone buttons one two and then two on the top and two on the side again. One thing I think of last minute is to just add some orange carpets on here, just to give it a bit of detail, just like that. And that actually does it. So um, quick and simple for something that's actually really big presence. Like, you know, if you saw this thing, you'd be a bit, a bit scared. I definitely would be. Um, so I'm going to put the shaders on, have a little post-build showcase, and we can check it out. And then I'm going to go play Halo Infinite Campaign. Can't wait. Okay, so here we are. The lighting's not doing it any favours at all, but yeah, it's really awesome. Um, probably one of my favourite Trinity builds that I've made. I will at some point do a showcase of the ones that are currently kind of up to date. Um, but this is yeah definitely one of the best looking Trinity builds I've made so far but we'll see what comes in the future anyway that's going to do it from me thank you so so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video goodbye
Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.